Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm at Yoakum Toyota here in Shreveport, Louisiana, and this is the 2022 version of the Toyota Corolla. This is the Corolla Hybrid. And let me just jump right in here and share something that you might consider if you're thinking, well, should I go full EV or should I go hybrid? Here's the big advantage. With a full electric vehicle, if you get stuck in traffic for long enough, it's possible, depending on where your charge is and all that kind of stuff, you might get stranded. With this, as long as there's gas in the tank, the good news is that you'll never have a problem in traffic because as it works, if you're not familiar with this, the way that this engine combination works between the two with the hybrid technology, when the electric motor gets down to a certain charge capacity, the gas engine takes over, charges that electric motor gap back up, and you're good to go and you can go back to the electric version of the vehicle, or should I say hybrid version of the vehicle, using the electric motor. So there's nothing new for 2022 with these Corollas, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's dive in and take a look at exactly what this car is and what it's all about in case you're interested in buying one. Okay guys, we're gonna take a quick look here at this super white. That's right, the exterior color is super white on this Corolla. LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and as you can see, a really nice look here as far as just the overall sporty look of the Corolla. Just kind of give you an overall quick look around here. 15 inch wheels and the most common question I get asked if people don't hear me say it. I'm answering the question right now. Are there turn signals built into the side view mirrors? And the answer obviously is no. You obviously have LED tail lights so you can have LEDs all the way around and of course Toyota safety sense multiple safety aids uh, such as pedestrian detection all the lane keep assist and all that kind of stuff here but obviously the main thing that people are going to want to know about this model is what's under the hood and how fast does it get down the road okay under the hood here as far as the gas engine goes it's a 1.8 liter four-cylinder and the combined horsepower is 121 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. And a lot of people might say, that is way underpowered. Well, I guess it depends on your age because there was a time when these kind of numbers were not that unusual. And it's a fairly light car, so it's going to get down the road just fine. We are going to do a 0-60 to 60 test later on. I don't know if anybody has done that on YouTube with a Corolla Hybrid, but that's what we're going to do supposed to do 0 to 60 in 10 seconds but here's the thing gas mileage 53 miles per gallon city 52 out on the highway a combined total of 52 miles per gallon you are not going to be hurting for good gas mileage so it's kind of worth it in a way if you're looking for maybe tremendous gas savings depends on what your situation is and transmission is an electronic or an ECVT. So tell me down in the comments what you think about that. And just a quick look down the side exterior, including looking at those 15 inch wheels, didn't probably give you as good of a look earlier as I could have. And we'll just take a quick look here. Got the shark fin antenna. And as far as cargo space goes, let's open the trunk here. 13.1 cubic feet. You also have a cargo net, as you can see right here, and you can lower the rear seats down to maximize your cargo space. And under the floor, I'll be interested to see what kind of comments I get on this. There is not a spare tire. You do have the tire repair kit. So tell me what you think. We talked about the exterior color being super white. You can say I have a super white Toyota Corolla, but just to give you a quick look here at the door bins and at this gray interior that has a really nice look to it. It is cloth, but it still has a very elegant look with the two-tone shades of gray. Just to give you a quick look around here at what's in the rear seat area before we hop into the front seat where the real action takes place. And as we make our way into the interior in the front seat, some of you might be saying, hey, Tom, how much is this Corolla going for $26,488. If you didn't happen to see that information on the screen earlier when I showed the screenshot from Yoakum Toyota's website, 
that is what you have now at this price point you're not going to have power seats you do have adjustable seats obviously everything is manually adjustable not a big deal some people kind of like that tell me down in the comments what your preference is and why and looking here at the dashboard i don't know just having that kind of a, a blue hue to the dash here honestly i don't know why but to me that kind of says hybrid i don't know maybe i'm just weird Boy, did I just open myself up for comments on that one. <laughs> and there, yeah, let me show you a little trick here. Watch this. Do you see that arrow flashing on the dashboard right there? When you push the lever over here into the up position, you see that happening right there? And then you push it into the down position. That's what it's doing there. I see that arrows on the left now. You know what that means? That means you're turning to the left or changing lanes to the left. And the same when you have that arrow blinking to the right right there that means you're letting people around you know what you're doing as you're driving down the road imagine the novelty of doing such a thing and i can't make any sarcastic remarks about the controls over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel for the windshield wipers and all of that kind of functionality got your steering wheel mounted controls here everything's pretty simple and self-explanatory i think voice commands, all that good stuff. And let's take a look here. Let's see if I can give you a glareless look at the eight inch infotainment screen. You're gonna have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Quite a few features here that will help you to know what's going on with your vehicle, to manage different things, audio. You're gonna have vehicle info set up right there where you can go in and change a lot of different settings. Of course, you have Bluetooth connectivity, all that good stuff. So, and look at this, if you get tired of hearing that beep, if I can, there we go. You don't like that sound. You can turn that off. But I'm going to turn it back on just because that's the way it was. But everything's super easy. And you know what? I know a lot of people probably get tired of hearing me say this, but if you've never had this kind of technology before, guys, don't be afraid of it. You're going to love it once you get used to it, and you will get used to it. Single zone climate control here, but in an interior of this size, I don't think you really need more than that. And just a quick look around. The interior is very nice looking. And just looking around here, of course, here is your shifter. So those of you who are not a fan of the push button style shifters, well, you'll like what you have here. And of course, you can turn traction control off right there. You can go into EV mode, even drive modes. Let's go up here to the dashboard here and I'll hit drive modes right there. And you can see as I cycle through, just a couple of modes to choose from, but just so you know what's there and how easy that is to get to. And of course, you're going to have the backup camera. Let's see here if we can give you a good view of that. I apologize that it may not be the best. It's kind of the glare that we have here. So there is your backup camera and really kind of a simple interior. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but that's what you have. And of course, let's reposition just a little bit here. Kind of nice to be able to do that with the gimbal here. There is your interior of the console you've got your connectivity right here 12 volt and a usb if you wanted to shove some vehicle visionary t-shirts in there i'd imagine you could probably fit four maybe five if you fold them just right cup holders right there and of course you've got your power parking brake and brake hold mode that can come in very handy if you're stuck in slow moving traffic what that's going to do is basically if you don't know will just keep the car, the brakes locked on the car when you come to a complete stop as long as that's on and you don't have to keep your foot on the brake. But the main thing I want to do is get out on the road for a test drive and see what kind of zero to 60 we can get and see what the driving experience is ultimately like here in this Corolla. Okay, we're going to jump out on the road for a zero to 60 here and I haven't really done a whole lot. Just turn the traction control off. But we'll just go from a dead stop here and here we go. Let's see here, we're going, and we're going, and we're going and going and going, and there we are at 60 miles an hour. I don't know what the numbers actually were, so I'll let you see on the screen for yourself so that you can see that and see if I was able to maybe get under the 10 second zero to 60 that was advertised here. So as we're cruising down the road here, my driving impressions are this is a fun little car to drive. It's not the most powerful on the road, but obviously, well, that's really part of the idea behind the hybrid powertrain. 
is that you are definitely looking to save gas and it will definitely do that for you but one of the ways you do that is you don't have a lot of horsepower but overall it's actually kind of sporty feeling in a way as far as the handling characteristics go because it actually drives really well and handles well it's comfortable kind of hear the road noise as we're going down the road and I don't know how good of a representation it is with my microphone the lapel mic but over the railroad tracks kind of hear that a little bit maybe but I have to admit this would be a nice road trip car uh, it's comfortable enough to enjoy the seating itself uh, is comfortable as far as the driver's seat go goes and uh, everything just is easy to get to you've got good information on the screen that tells you what's going on with the battery and all that kind of stuff I'll try to remember to snap you a picture of that just so that you can see because obviously um, I didn't show that earlier in the video so we'll try and get you a, a picture of that but everything here is good if you're looking for a good reliable vehicle you know Toyotas are known for being very reliable and also the fact that you're going to get superb gas mileage I mean you can't beat the gas mileage on these hybrids that's for sure and while there are going to be so many people that are gonna I know say that's just not enough horsepower and depending on your situation for some people that is going to be true but for others it may be just right tell me down in the comments what your situation is and why you do or do not believe this is the right amount of horsepower and that is a quick tour of the 2022 version of the Toyota Corolla tell me what trim level you plan to buy if you're going to buy a Corolla and gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at Yokum Toyota for loaning me this model for the day and all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out another of the videos that is on the screen right now, and I will see you there.